parts for a ribbon burner forge I'll probably never build. The electric blower we're converting to hand crank, so we don't need this anymore. Camp chair, safety glasses, hearing protection gloves, and my favorite hammer. A box of books, mostly duplicates. And of course some liquid refreshments. Morning will come awfully early, but I'll add some clean clothes and of course all the camera equipment when I get ready to leave. Well, I've been on the road now since about five o'clock this morning. We're north of Colorado Springs now. Traffic hasn't been too bad this morning. Where am I taking you? Well, I thought you might like to tag along and head to the 2023 Rocky Mountain Blacksmithing Conference. This year it's being held in Berthoud and it's put on by the Rocky Mountain Smiths. Well, looks like we've made it. About a half hour to spare. Okay, she's staying with my dad and she loves her dad, so, so it's really Otherwise, fun. I'd have my court. Yeah. Of course. Hi. Say hi, Dan. Yeah. Hi to all you out there. All right, welcome everybody. We're gonna get started here. Um, we have a couple announcements this morning uh, to go over. If you guys haven't checked out the website, the schedule's on the website, uh, pretty much all the information about the conference, uh, so you can look at that. Um, first things first, there's a number of thank yous in order. Uh, first and foremost, uh, this wouldn't be possible without Scott's help. Our president, Scott Kretschmer, has put in endless amounts of work making this happen, calling food trucks, calling suppliers. It's not a big round of we couldn't have done it without him. We're lucky to have him, and uh, he's really made this possible for all of us. Um, also, uh, to Dan Nibbling for hosting us here. It's very kind of him to let us use his property. It's a wonderful spot that we have here, and um, could have dried it out a little. It's a little wet. Uh, four out of five stars, but uh, <laughs> we'll make do with what we have. So, big round of applause. For Dan. So today, uh, Anton is going to show how to make um, each piece on the dragon. He also uh, prepared uh, each piece beforehand uh, to save time. So he uh, drilled all the holes, and uh, tomorrow he is going to um, assemble the dragon from the pieces that he prepared beforehand. But today, he's going to show how to make each piece. So this is the piece that he is going to show how he forged. Uh, so he's using this round bar. Yeah, it's a bit shorter, but he's going to just like to show how to how to, how to make it. background is uh, raised on a farm and uh, 
went to, uh, went to tech school and got a degree in electronics, uh, but uh, went back to the farm after uh, about eight or nine years and then a uh, kind of blacksmithing and then uh, uh, went full time. And uh, what, I've, uh, what I mostly do is I do arts and craft shows and I do conferences and I do tools and uh, for, for uh, blacksmith conferences and I also uh, I teach some and I have a small little cattle farm and uh, but I, I love making tools and I was being around Clay which was uh, uh, if you know Clay he's a tool a tool guy uh, he's like Tim Taylor of tools but uh, he is a whole lot better than don't get us hurt as much. Uh, but he, uh, he's taught me a lot and uh, he's actually kind of passed on the tire hammer classes uh, to me and there's some flyers in there if anybody uh, wants to do a tire hammer class or if there, I do one in Virginia every year uh, or I do uh, tool making classes. Uh, but when I do my demos, a lot of times they are based on a lot of the stuff that I'm doing for my shows, because I do commission and I have a lot of stuff uh, I do. And so what I'm doing this, uh, this afternoon is kind of some of my favorites. Uh, and some of these uh, is out of what I call common steel, but an uncommon item. So I'll do a lot of For this year's group project, each group was given a piece of quarter inch plate, oh, about six inches in diameter, a piece of three quarter inch solid round bar, eh, 10 or 12 inches, I didn't actually measure any of this stuff, and then a short piece of three quarter inch black pipe. The only direction given is that we were supposed to make a candle holder. Exactly how that was going to look and how you were going to implement that was completely at the discretion of each group. And it was a real chance to see some creativity and some ideas that you never would have thought of, but some of the other groups did. Do you think you're a little lower? You just want to make sure it doesn't move. You're good. All right, let me, let me get a, a W right here. Now you go kind of gently do a pop up. You just don't, yeah, that looks good. Together, then he continues on through the through the process of
Well, it's been a great event so far. Now, I can't really present the demonstrations to you. This event isn't put on for me to do YouTube videos about. So I'm kind of in the back of the crowd. And I can't get real close very often. But Rocky Mountain Smiths does video the event. They've got multiple cameras. They do some live switching. Other than that, there's no editing. But in any case, those videos will be available on the Rocky Mountain Smiths YouTube channel sometime in the future. But these are two, three hour videos of individual demonstrations over the years for various conferences, workshops, things like that. Tons of good information if you're willing to sit through it. But it includes everything, all the discussion, the questions, the answers, close-ups of the demonstrators working on the piece. Some really good information there if you want to watch it. So I encourage you to go over to the Rocky Mountain Smiths channel, check it out. I'll put a link to it up there. It may be a month or so before this weekend's demonstration is available there, but you got years worth of stuff you can go through before then. Just a few more little details to take care of, and then it'll be time to clean up and head home. I hope you enjoyed this glimpse of what a conference like this looks like, and I really encourage you to attend events like this. They're held all over the country. In fact, they're held in lots of places around the world. You just have to do the research and find out what's near you. And when I say near, that might be a day or two's drive. But there's probably something you can find that you can make plans for maybe next year or the year after. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. We'll talk to you later. Hey, hot, hit it hard. Okay. <laughs>